typical American <coughs> stuff. And there's another picture. This one's just like a little joke that um, there's one of the um, elderly trying to escape the nursing home. And one of the nurses is like, relax. Like, I'll go after him later after the game since he's in a walker and like, he's not getting to walk that fast. But it's just a little jug. I thought it was funny to show you guys. Um, like, furthermore, like talking about the jobs as nursing home, 45% of Americans, they change their major for, um, to nurses because they do want to help out, like the elderly, like we, um, Many people don't want to just think, they just think that we're just putting off aside all the um, older people, like the elder people, but many nurses are trying to switch to that occupation so that they can um, take care of the elderly. And they're not, they don't feel like they're, they're like being secluded and left behind. And like most of the elderly in the nursing home now are part of those baby boomers and they're, they're veterans and stuff like that. So. We really, like, the nurses really do take good care of them. Um, so, in conclusion, like, hold on a second, there it is. Like, I've talked to you guys about, like, the nursing homes and how they, it really provides good care for the er elderly and how, like, for us, it's going to give us more time to do more things. It's just, um, if we plan to do put them there, we, we could have to take care of our kids and then we could go ahead and like free more of our schedules rather than having it be a very busy, crazy life. But, you know, we could still visit them in the nursing home and take um, see how they are get, being well taken care of by the nurses there and all the caregivers and stuff. So if you are planning like to like thinking about where to put your parents, uh, I suggest like a little nursing home is a good place to put them. There you go. <laughs> All right, Tyler, what did you think? for a little bit too long and the transitions were a little unclear like it wasn't kind of thrown kind of thrown and the ending um, transition like seems a little bit over and I like the visuals though they're nice and you talk with it all right I uh I thought your introduction was a little abrupt. I mean, you kind of drop us into this subject, and I think we need a little bit more lead into it. Some background information about uh, the aging population, for example, the number of people who have to move into these homes, or visualizing us in this particular situation. It, it sounded like basically you were telling everybody in here, okay, you got to find a place to put your parents. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I, I'm not sure that uh, most of the people in here have parents that are of the age that they might need this kind of thing. You know, I'm sitting here. My kids just, you know, one just graduated from college. The other one's about to graduate from college. I'm going. Yeah, I think I'm a few years away from this. So I wonder how many of your parents are, you know, ready for the nursing home. Uh, I think that just seemed a little odd the way that you got into it. Uh, you've got that statistical chart that you have at the beginning, and it seems. A, I know you're trying to use it as an attention device, but it, it really feels like it's not helping draw attention to the speech. It's actually diverting us onto some other topics that probably would have been better discussed on that second point that you bring up, all the issues that you would be faced with if you had to provide home care. You do have a specific purpose statement. That part's good, but there's not really any preview of what the content is going to be. And so it gets a little confusing because on the first section that you're talking about, it just feels like you're bouncing around back and forth between, well, if you have to take care of them at home, if you have a nursing home, 
you know, what is it that we're supposed to get out of here? And I think it's, it's really simple. You're talking about what are the advantages of nursing homes to people who, are, uh, who need to live in the nursing home? What's the advantage to nursing homes to people who uh, have family members there? And what are the advantages to the people who work there? That's really what your structure is. If you've got a nice parallel development of those terms, of, of those sentences, everybody will be able to follow everything that you're saying. But you don't, you haven't got it, followed it through that much. It, it just seems like we're falling into each of these topics. Now you did have a numerical signpost on the second and third points, but I couldn't tell what the second point was at all until you were most of the way into it. And I said, okay, I kind of get the idea about what you're discussing here. And so you need to be a lot clearer on those sorts of things. I didn't really hear any source citations. I know you had some information from because you had the one uh, bar, bar graph uh, that you showed us, but I didn't hear additional citations on this. And I, I'm not exactly sure that any book is going to be saying, and you know, the nice thing about working in a nursing home is that they're not as picky as hospitals are for their nurses. You know, and I'm going, huh. That makes me want to put my parents there. <laughs> you know? So I think, I, I, I think that maybe you need a little bit more control over the information. This is sort of more from a personal perspective on this, and I think you need to get a little bit more content into it. I think you've got a good idea for a speech here, and I don't see that the structure, as I look back at it, is, is, is problematic. Uh, they are issues that you would want to talk about. It's just as a presentation, I don't think that they're very well labeled. I did think that you helped a little bit at the end with your summary, because it helps clarify things a little bit more. Um, the visuals are not always integrated into the speech very well. I know uh, what uh, Tyler was talking about. You got the one picture of the, all the busy Americans sitting up there the whole time. It wasn't that important a picture to have anyway because it doesn't really explain anything. It's just maybe creating some attention. But that's the one image that was up the longest. Ha if you have to explain the cartoon, it's probably not something that you want to use. I didn't think you needed to explain it. So the cartoon was fine. The explanation was unnecessary. Vice versa, if you have to explain the cartoon, then you probably don't want to use it. Um, and then there was some information that you presented. I, again, I, I know you did some research on this because you've got some information here. But it sounded like you said 45% changed their majors to become uh, nurses. And I'm going, okay, show of hands, how many of you are planning on becoming nurses and changing your major? Because 45% sounds like more than almost half of this class is going to be doing And I think we've got that number out of context. You've got th that number came from something, and you're using the number, but you have not gotten the context very clear. And you always want to be clear when you're citing information like this what it means, how it's being used, and what inference you want us to draw from it. And it just gets dropped in here, and I think that's a little problematic. All right, thank you.